Welcome into Wager Talk TV. I am Drew Martin, joined by Dave Koken and Ralph Michaels of wagertalk.com. We're talking some Friday night action here. Friday night lights, guys. BYU at Boise State, number nine ranked team at the number 21 ranked team, 945 Eastern kick here on FS1. Ralph, interested in your opinion here. BYU minus three road favorites, 59 and a half being the total on the blue turf. What are you thinking Friday night, Ralph? Well, Drew, you know, we talked about this game on the best damn college football show there is. And when you have a straight up record of 116 and eight on the blue turf since 2001, that's pretty good. So 116 wins for Boise at home, eight losses since 2001. That includes five straight wins over BYU. I don't understand the line move. My power ratings had Boise one. I think Jack, uh, Jack Sears is comparable or even better than Brock Meyer at quarterback. Remember, Sears was at USC and potentially a starter. He was challenging for the starting role at USC, had those issues transferred out. I don't know why he went to Boise. It's a good thing for the Broncos here. And with this BYU team, I mean, their statistical profile is so good, but the only tough team they played was Houston. It was a Houston team they struggled with in the first half. Pulled away in the second half. They actually trailed Houston 20 to 14. So this being a road game, only the third road game, I'm not going to count that Navy game because we know how Navy did not prepare for the season. They did take care of Houston, but they only gained 78 yards per game. I, I like the Broncos in, in a pick and roll, and I'm getting points in a team that I think is better uh, with a quarterback comparable to Brock Meyer in, in the step down. Boise has a shot to make my card this week. Yeah, with a strong home field advantage there in years past the times here, Dave. Interested in your opinion, Friday Night Lights. We got a, a 7-0 and straight-up team versus a 2-0 and straight-up team. So a difference in, uh, obviously, number of games played here. Not sure how much you think that factors in. But your overall thoughts, BYU-Boise State, Dave? Well, I had a 5% play on Boise State uh, last week against the Air Force, and that worked out really well. And I watched every play of the football game. And came away with it uh, from it saying, well, it's a good thing that they were playing Air Force uh, because the defense for Boise State was unimpressive in that football game. I thought Air Force with a patchwork offensive line, two backup running backs. I know it's the option, but they'd had plenty of time to prepare for that option. Uh, I, I, I did not see what I liked out of the Boise defense. And if that's the case, they're going to have some problems here because I will guarantee you, that the BYU offensive line is way better, and I mean way better, than the offensive line they just saw for Air Force. The Boise State offense will be fine. Uh, I, I agree with what Ralph said about Jack Sears. I think he's, you know, if he's not an equal to Brock Meyer, he's maybe a one point less. Uh, I think Boise's going to be fine offensively, and they will get their points in this game. But first of all, I don't feel, feel the home field advantage anywhere near where it normally is, for a rather obvious reason. There ain't a lot of fans going to be there. And the second thing is, I think BYU has got a lot more under their belts at this point, whereas Boise doesn't. Uh, I made BYU the favorite in this game. Had that opening number of Boise State minus two held, I'd have been taking BYU plus the points. I can guarantee you that. With the number where it is now, it's pretty close to where my number is, so I'll probably end up leaving it alone. But I think BYU is the right side in this game, guys. Hey, Drew, I do Go have ahead, a question bro. for Dave. Uh, Dave, I know you don't do college totals, you know, for the most part. No. Unless something pops up. I don't even look up. at them. But, I mean, the, the way you're talking, that you like the, the BYU offense and you like Sears against the BYU defense, I mean, that total at 59 sounds like it, it even though you don't look at them, it sounds like it's within your wheelhouse where both teams get, get to 30. Yeah, I, but you know what? I, I don't do college football totals. So I have nothing I can offer you on that. I, I don't Fair know. Fair enough. I, I don't, don't know. I don't project scores. I project margins. So, you know, I, I, I'd rather not guess at stuff. It's a, it's a stick to, to what you know type of business. That's a smart stuff from a good sports better there in Dave Kogan. Dave, I guess just one last follow-up question here. Um, you know, for, for preparing for this video here, we got uh, – with Tuesday being the election and everything shut down, we got only practices for BYU because they are the road team here, full practices on Monday and Wednesday. How much do you think that affects the Cougars? None. They've been, they've been practicing all season. This is, uh, this is a game they've been pointing to. 
there aren't many big games that BYU schedule, so uh, th- th- this is certainly a game they've been pointing to all season. I, I would I'd be shocked if they haven't been putting some Boise State preparation into every practice they've had this year. Okay, and ask Ralph Michaels the same thing. You can guys check it out in uh, full analysis with Robbie Vino on the Best Damn College Football Show on the Wager Talk YouTube channel. But enjoy the action on Friday night. Also, remember, we got the $199 special at WagerTalk and SportsMemo.com. Normally $349, discounted to just $199. The Thanksgiving special, you get it. College football, NFL, five full weekends. Check it out at both WagerTalk and SportsMemo.com.